In this video, what we're going to do is perform administrative tasks using Configuration Manager. So the first thing I'm going to go into Configuration Manager and explore the Assets and Compliance Workplace. Click on Users right here and you can see all the users we have there. The next thing we're going to do is explore the Software Library Workspace. And I'm going to do is expand the Application Manager folder. So you can look all around here, then Application Management. And then you'll see Applications node. So when you click on Applications, see the one we have is XML Notepad 2007. The next thing we're going to do is explore the monitoring workspace. See all the options that are available on here. Monitoring, click alerts. Shows you all this when reporting. This is showing you all the different things you can see under here. The next thing I'm going to go is administration. And then I'm going to expand the hierarchy configuration folder. Then I'm going to click on discovery methods next. You can see all these different discovery methods, Active Directory, Group, User, Forest, etc. Now I'm going to look on Boundaries, and you can see all the boundaries we have here, Toronto, Sydney, Datum HQ. The next thing I'm going to do after this is I'm going to perform searches in the Configuration Manager console. So Assets Compliance, I go to Device Collection. I'm going to click on, double click All Systems. That'll do a local node search. It shows all the members of the collection. Now I'm going to go to search, add criteria, and I'm going to go to name check on this one. So a name contains, and then I'm going to click on starts with London, L-O-N, and then I'll click on search. So these are all the ones that begin with London. London, actually, the other one. Then I'm going to save it. And I'm going to give it a name. Called London Systems. When I look at Save Searches, you'll see all there. You can manage searches by all of them there. You can even see it under Recent Searches, and that one's right there. Good. So you can click in all systems. You can see all the ones right here. I'm going to go home, take a look at save searches, and look at the one I saved, London, London system. And you can see all the ones. This is the save search that I did already. Now the next thing I'm going to do is use Windows PowerShell. Connect to Windows PowerShell. I'm going to say A in there. So in this one now I've done is on here, get command, dash module, configuration manager, pipeline to out grid view. And you can see the output on this right here. It's showing you all the ones there. I'm going to go get device, format table, name, AD site, name, site code, and device OS. And you can see all the ones there, and they even tell you the kind of OS it is. And get CM distribu DCM distribution point on here. Get CM management point, format table, network OS, role name, side code role count. Get CM package. Then I formatted the table, name, description, and source path. Then get um, CM application, user collection, CM site users. Now what I'm doing in here is I'm monitoring and troubleshooting on here. So I've clicked on monitoring, site status home, and I'm going to click on configuration um, manager, service manager. Clicked on components. 
I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find SMS policy provider and click on logging. And then I'm going to set the log size to 5 meg. Now I'm going to do is manage configuration manager components next. Query. And I'm some are running notice and some are not running on here. Let's try that again, shall we? See some are stopped, some are running. ones that are stopped on there. Now I'm going to click on one of them here, for example, to show you SMS policy provider. It's running, and I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to query. Then I'm going to right-click and start it. And afterwards, you'll start. So I've now I've done it. So I've started and started and stopped components. The next thing I'm going to do is monitor site and component status. So I'm going to go to the monitoring workspace, system status folder, click site status node, and then I'm going to examine the site status node on here. You see all the things in there. When I clicked on show messages on all, then I'm going to do is after this, where you can see I have quite a few on there. I'm going to go view and I'm going to filter and I'm going to look for 5104 in here. And this shows me all the ones that have 5104, and you can see that on the screen. Great. So I'm showing all messages, all. I'm going to set the viewing period. OK. And I can see the entries between the uh, 5104 from the latest and the other one, the timing on it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is review the log files by using the um, Trace Manager to Log tool. So I'm going to Tools under CM, SCM Trace, you'll see there. I'm going to pin it to the test task bar. And I'm going to run it. I'm going to open and I'm going to find the policy pv.log. And open it. I'm going to look for 5104 in here. I'm going to search one in here, and I'm going to look through that, and I can see the ones.